I am Duchess Isabel Neville, I was born on 5 September 1451. I was the eldest daughter and co-heiress of Richard Neville, the 16th Earl of Warwick, who was also known as the Kingmaker, and Ander Beecham, Sua Yere the 16th Countess of Warwick. I was the wife of George Plantagenet, the first Duke of Clarence. My younger sister was Duchess and Neville, who went on to be the wife and queen consort of my husband's brother, King Richard III. There are not any paintings of me. Mostly crude sketches, but this is the best version of me based on descriptions of my appearance. I was born at Warwick Castle, which was the seat of the Earls of Warwick. On July 11, 1469, I secretly married George Plantagenet, the first Duke of Clarence, who was the youngest brother of King Edward IV in Calais. My marriage was arranged by my father against the king's wishes. The ceremony was conducted by my uncle, George Neville, the Archbishop of York. Following my marriage, my husband George joined forces with my father and allied with the Lancastrians which were led by Margaret of Anjou, the Queen Consort to Henry VI. Part of this arrangement, my younger sister Anne, was forced into a marriage to Edward of Westminster, Prince of Wales, who was also the son and heir of Henry VI. I felt as though I would never see my sweet sister again. After her marriage to the monstrous Prince of Wales, my husband George rejoined his brother the king, realizing that it was unlikely that he would ever be king. My father the kingmaker was killed in battle and my mother fled into sanctuary. Edward, Prince of Wales was killed in battle as well, making Anne a widow at the age of 14. Anne was eventually released into the custody of me and my husband, the Duke of Clarence. Letters from King Edward, were brought to my husband by an unnamed lady from the court who came to visit me before my father and husband invaded England in the name of the Lancastrians in September 1470. Inside those letters, were promises of reconciliation from the king if George abandoned my father's cause and the Lancastrian army. My husband replied that he would rejoin King Edward as soon as it was conveniently possible. My husband George was granted my part of the Warwick inheritance in return for his defection back to King Edward. They would have preferred not to see and marry again, in order to keep the entire inheritance. Conveniently, their mother, still in sanctuary, was declared legally dead in order to divide the inheritance. On the voyage to Calais, my first baby was born and died at sea on April 17, 1470. I was made to board the ship by my father, even though I had already entered my confinement. I was devastated and my spirit was destroyed. My baby had no hope. Our baby girl Margaret was born on August 14, 1473. She went on to marry Sir Richard Pole and became the Countess of Salisbury and was eventually executed by Henry VIII on 12 May, 1541. As we all know, Margaret Pole was one of many women who were executed by him. Our baby boy Edward Plantagenet, the 17th Earl of Warwick was born on 25 February, 1475. He was wrongly accused as a small boy of wanting to usurp Henry VII and was executed by him on 28 November, 1499 at the age of 24 for attempting to escape the Tower of London, where he had been imprisoned since he was 10 years old. My baby boy Richard of Clarence was born on 6 October, 1476, at Tewkesbury Abbey in Gloucestershire. I wish I could tell you that he went on to live a full life, but he died on 1 January, 1477 at Warwick Castle. I died just two and a half months after the birth of our Richard. It is now believed that the cause of my death was either consumption or childbed fever. My husband George, accused one of my ladies-in-waiting of murdering me, and committed in his turn a notorious judicial murder of my lady-in-waiting. Anchoret Twinniho. Her grandson Roger Twinniho received a full retrospective pardon for her. The petition he submitted to the king in 1478 describes fully the circumstances of the case, while illustrating the quasi-kingly high-handedness of Clarence, which was ultimately not tolerated by the king. I hope you have enjoyed the highlights of my short life. If you have any questions or comments about me, feel free to drop them in the section below. In the meantime, Never stop asking questions and never stop learning.